enjoyed Satchmo Summerfest as they celebrated Louis Armstrong's birthday. Maddie Kurth shows us how the nation's oldest historically black neighborhood paid tribute. That song is ministry. What's a, what a beautiful world. Braving the August heat, dozens celebrate what would be Louis Sachimo Armstrong's 123rd birthday in his holy home away from home. And this was his parish. Reverend Quentin Moody stood before St. Augustine Church parishioners to preach the reach that Armstrong's music can have. According to St. Augustine, when we sing, we pray twice. So today, I will be looking at your mouths, <laughs> all of you. And believe me, I have a very good view from where I stand. If they weren't singing during the jazz mass, they were certainly doing so as numerous brass bands fired up their horn sections for a parade into the French Quarter. It's always a good thing to have a second line in the city. Yeah. The culture what makes New Orleans tick. Uh, we're in the heat of the summer, you know, that 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 hot hot time. Just like uh, the calendar. Once again, we just follow the calendar, do what we do, bring joy to the world. Ronald Dumas says he's called Treme home his entire life. Bye, yeah, yeah, big team. It hasn't always been easy for his home church. Hurricane Katrina devastated the parish in 2005, and on the same day, 16 years later. Hurricane Ida took our, our uh, bell tower down, our beautiful cross, but we're still here, still having fun. As he passes the culture of his block on to the next generation, Dumas says the secret to keeping New Orleans kicking is right there in Armstrong's legacy. If you ain't got it in you, you can't blow it out. And they've been here 200 years plus, still doing it, just bringing joy to the people, you know. Maddie Kurth, Fox 8, Louisville.